Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we're talking about linear equations. Now I am not going into some of the more detailed intermediate and advanced topics. I have separate videos on all those. So if you are looking for slope intercept form, point slope form, perpendicular parallel, I have a ton of different videos on uh, things with linear equations. Links are below. This is just an introduction to what is a linear equation? What does it represent? So very simply, a linear equation has two variables, x and y, and when you graph it, it makes a line. It is an equation with two variables. When you graph it, it makes a line. Now that may not mean a whole lot to you just yet, but that's why you're watching this video, right? Right. So let's get into it. First off, we have our X, Y graph. Get used to this. You are going to see a lot of it if you haven't already in algebra. This is the X axis down here, and this is our Y axis. Positive X is here, negative X is there. Positive Y is up this way, negative Y is down here. Any line that I draw on this graph can be represented by an equation. It's going to have an X, it's going to have a Y, it's going to have an equals. There's a lot of different ways that it can be written. Again, videos on all those different forms that you're going to learn about. But th those are the constants. It's going to have an X, a Y, and an equals. The uh, sole exceptions to those is you can have a line that is just X equals. That is a vertical line. Oop. Drawn more straightly than that. Or you could have a line that is y equals, and that is a horizontal line. Those are the only exceptions to this rule. You don't come across them that much. Most of the math you're going to be doing is going to have an x, a y, and an equals. It is not going to have any exponents. There's no x squared, x cubed, y. No, just plain x, plain y, and an equal sign. That's our, our basis. That's 99% of what you're going to be doing. So let's think about if I had an equation like y equals 2 times x, and I picked a number for x, and I said I want x to be 4. What would y be? Well, 2 times 4 equals 8. So if x is 4, then y is 8. So I could go over here and go, okay, when x is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, then y is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just barely. So there's the point where x is 4 and y is 8. Okay. Well, what if I picked another number for x? What if I picked 2 for x? Well, then y would be 2 times 2 or 4. So let's chart that one. 1, 2, and then up 1, 2, 3. There's my point where x is 2, y is 4. Well, what if I pick another point? And I, this time I'm going to pick 1. When x is 1, what is y? 2 times 1 is 2. So when x is 1, y is 2. And there's my point 1, 2. Now, do you see how these points are starting to do become a very boring game of connect the dots? They are just making a straight line. If you were to keep putting in number after number after number and plotting all those dots, those dots are going to form this line. And I drew that a little bit off. It's not perfectly. It should have gone right through the <laughs> right through the origin there, through the point zero, zero. I didn't quite draw that correctly. Let me draw that a little better here for you. Let me see if I can get that a little closer. There we go. There we are. That's a little better representation for you. So if... I, again, if I did little dots, I kept putting in X's and getting Y's and putting in dots for it, I would eventually have this line. And we can go the other way as well. I can look at this line to figure out what numbers make this equation true. 
So let's say I go down here and I go down to, there's negative one, negative two, I go down negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. All right, so I'm saying because X is negative two here and Y is negative four, that those two numbers, negative two and negative four, will work in this equation and it will be true. Well, let's try it. We'll plug in our negative two for X and our negative four for Y. Is that true? Yes, it is. Two times negative two on the right here is negative four. Negative four equals negative four. It's true. So this is what a linear equation is. It is a visual representation of all the coordinate pairs. That's what these are called. These are called coordinate pairs. It's a representation of all the coordinate pairs that would make an equation that you're given true. And you can go either way. You can look at the equation and find answers that will make the equation, oh, excuse me, you can look at the line and find answers that will make the equation true. Or you can look at an equation and graph a line. If you are asked to graph a line, if you're just starting out and you haven't learned about a slope intercept form yet, then the easiest way to graph a line is simply to pick a few points. Uh, most teachers will ask for at least three. Go by what your teacher says. For example, if I said y equals 3x plus 1, I could pick some numbers for x. I'm going to pick, make a little chart and say x and y. I'm going to pick 0, 1, and 2 for x and see what I get. Well, y equals 3x plus 1. So first I'm going to plug in 0, 3 times 0 plus 1. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is just 1. So y would equal 1 when x is 0. All right, how about when x is 1? 3 times 1 plus 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So when x is 1, y is 4. And then if x is 2, so y is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1. 3 times 2 is 6. y is equal to 6 plus 1 or 7. So if I graph these three numbers, if I did my math right here, then if I graph these three coordinate pairs, I should say, they should form a perfectly straight line. So let's try it. 0, 1. When x is 0, y is 1. That's right there. When x is 1, y is 4. That's right there. And when x is 2, y is 7. That's right there. Sure enough, they form a straight line. I will say this, um, while you only need two points to draw your line, even if your teacher doesn't require you to uh, do three points to draw your line, ah, go ahead and do it. Draw those three points. It's a really good way to catch any mistakes. As if you accidentally make a mistake in the math portion here and you graph those three points, you will very easily see that you made a mistake because you'll have like, there's a point and there's a point and then you get a point here and you're like, whoa, wait a minute. Something's wrong. Either this point or this point, you know, one of these points, one of these points is wrong because it could be a line that goes like this. It could be a line that goes like that. It could be a line that goes like that. Something, one of these points is off. I need to go back and check my math. So three points is, it's wise. It's a good idea, even though it's a little extra work to do three points even though, strictly speaking, only two are necessary. Okay, so there's your introduction to what a linear equation is and you know what that graph represents and how to do a basic graph. From here, you're most likely going to go into things like slope-intercept form, point-slope form, you know, defining slopes, whether they're positive, negative, zero, undefined, all those kind of good um, topics. Links are down below with videos going further into that. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.